cards. That's why it's a very big deck. But what we did is we took out all the potentially frightening images and words, and we kept the integrity of the tarot system in a gentle way for highly sensitive people. So it's a great way to get details about any question you have. And I wanted to ask, because here we are at December 2012, I almost feel like going dun 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 because so, f for years since the 80s people have asked me about this month and of course I believe that it's a time of shift but I also know that there are some people who are putting fear energy out there about 2012 and <clears throat> they might do something so I want to just get some details about guidance that we have and see what the angels want to say for you personally and for us globally. So what I do is I just choose three cards randomly and just whichever card that I'm attracted to I'll put it down representing Monday and Tuesday and if it's upside down I'll just turn it around I don't even think about it twice and I just go with what my gut tells me and that's how anyone can read these cards they're very very simple here we go for the first card for Monday and Tuesday, Ace of Earth. And the card traditionally means abundance. It means a promising business venture, um, important documents and contracts. Uh, it, they're telling me intuitively this also has to do with Earth and one, that that's one world. And for us to remember that um, it's a fragile place, we have to take care of it, and you need to do your part, whether it's recycling that plastic bottle or using eco-friendly cleaning supplies. Also, they're saying um, it has to do with the one world um, uh, uh, goal of some people who are trying to make a new world order. Um, just to kind of pay attention to that and to be aware of it, not out of fear. Or